Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll show you how to install Pandas in Jupyter Notebook the easy way. Whether you are a beginner or just setting up your environment, this guide will help you get started. So let's dive in. Pandas is one of the most powerful uh, Python libraries for data analysis and manipulation. It allows you to work with structured data like tables and spreadsheets in a super efficient way. Some key features of using Pandas. Pandas makes it easy to work with structured data like CSV files, Excel spreadsheets, and SQL tables. We can filter, sort, and modify data efficiently using Pandas functions. We can remove missing values, fix incorrect data, and transform messy data sets with a few lines of code. Pandas integrates with Matplotlib and Seabond for stunning visualization, so it supports data analysis and visualization. Pandas is built on NumPy, so it is optimized for handling large data sets quickly, so it is fast and efficient. Now let us see how to install and use Pandas in Jupyter Notebook. Let's install Pandas in Jupyter Notebook, so for that we need to uh, open a Jupyter Notebook using either the command prompt or anaconda and then we need to install it using the pip command, pip install pandas. So the exclamation at the beginning tells Jupyter to run a shell command inside the notebook. So this will download and install the pandas library. And as we can see that pandas is already installed in the system. So it is showing that requirement already satisfied. But we can also verify the installation by importing pandas and checking its version. So for that we can import pandas. Then we can check its version. So for that what can we do is we can import pandas as pd because that's generally what we do so over here we can write print pd underscore underscore version underscore underscore so now let us see so the version of pandas installed in my system is 2.2.3 so this shows that pandas is successfully installed now what we can do is, uh, since pandas is installed, we can start working with data set. So we can try loading a data frame. The data frame, what we'll do is, I'll create a variable df. And in that, I'll use the command pd.readcsv. And then I'll just paste my file name and ensure that you are using backslash instead of forward slash so I've loaded my CSV file and then what I'll do is I'll quickly write df.head so yep you can see that my CSV file has been download has been loaded into Jupyter notebook and we can see the first five rows so in the upcoming videos, I'll also show you how to use pandas for data cleaning, visualization and machine learning. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update.